My name is Rick, and I'm a personal trainer in Delaware. I have my own fitness center, and I have a very, very wonderful clientele. We do a variety of exercises in my gym uh, that normally you would not see in other gyms. Um, I like to offer my clients variety and a little bit of spice to the workout. Uh, I'd like to show you today some different kind of exercises you normally wouldn't see in any of any other gym performed. And uh, these are personal uh, exercises that I find really benefit me. And if they benefit me, then they benefit my clients too. So let me take you through and show you a couple of different exercises you may want to incorporate into your uh, workout routine. Hi, we're back again. I just want to show you how to do some exercises for the upper body. Today's upper body. We're going to do a chest exercise. And every, every gym here right here has this type of machine. What we're going to do is work the pecs, chest area. But let me show you exactly what we're going to do. Take this off for you. And, let's get rid of that. We have a seat. Put your hands behind the bar. And what we're going to do a little bit, a little different, is rather than go both hands, we're going to use one hand. And press. Two, three, four, five, six. This is a great exercise for the upper body. It works the chest, the pecs, the delts, and the triceps. And to a certain extent, it works the lats, which are the long muscles running down in the outside of your back. Okay, and 14, 15. I like to use light weights and high reps. Goes for definition. And one, two, three. Keep it balanced. Press nice and easy. Feel the weight. Press it out. Push again. Again. Concentrate on what you're doing. Don't let the weights back slap. If you do, you're going to jar that muscle and the joint. You really want to control what you're doing. 14 and 15, and bring her back. Suggest two sets to three sets of 15 on each side. Okay? Let's go to the next exercise. We're back, and we're going to do an incline bench press on a Smith machine. The Smith machine is a great piece of equipment. It's really underutilized in most uh, gyms, and uh, watch what I do with it. It's very controlled, and it's self spotting The best thing of all, it's self spotting So, let's do another 15 reps. Lightweight. Watch what we're doing. Notice how we do this. The bar comes down under the chin, above the nipple line. Really works the upper part of the pecs and the upper part of the shoulders. Because this machine is called a Smith machine, it's very stable. It's really assisting you to do the exercise properly. Again, do another set of 15 reps. 13, 14, and 15. Do two to three sets, 15 reps, piece of cake. Now we okay, next, next exercise. Now we just did two exercises for chest. We're going to do two exercises for biceps. So let's take you with the upper body. I'm going to show you something a little bit different. It requires a lot of balance and coordination. <laughs> for those of you who don't have balance and coordination, you have to work at this one. What we're going to do is biceps. We do, you know how you do a the gym all the time. This time, what we're going to do is squat down, keep your balance, and curl it to your ears. Keep your elbows out. I think you can your upper arm parallel to the floor, pulling the weight, handles actually, to your ears. And stick, sticking with our 15 rep regimen. Two sets of these, we're really going to pump up the biceps. After the eight, 13, and 15, come on back up. Woo, feel the pump. 
We're back again for a second bicep exercise. This one's really uh, a little difficult to set up. You need a very long chain and uh, uh, a pad for the floor. And it's a strange exercise, but it's very effective for giving a, getting a really good pump in the bicep. So let's show you how it's done. We lay on the floor. Get nice and comfy. Grab the bar, preferably a bent bar, W bar. Both feet up. Lie down flat. Get comfy and curl towards your forehead. Keep your elbows up. Point it away from you. Towards your forehead. Stay on the floor. Do not sit up. Pump the bicep. Come down. And do your usual 15 reps. 13, 14, and 15. And come on back up. Great exercise for the biceps. And here we are again. We're going to try two shoulder exercises. Two shoulder exercises. A little bit different. You normally don't see something like this in the gym, but like I said, that's the reason why you're watching this. Get some hints on something different. So, what you're going to do is grab two dumbbells. This exercise is going to actually work your wrist, your triceps, your shoulders, and your upper chest. Let's show you what you do. And it really works the traps, believe me. You stand here like this, shoulders width, take the dumbbells, put them in front, something not too heavy, not too light, just enough, and start twisting. Try and twist as far as you can, 180, forward, and 180, backward. And what you want to do is not too fast, but just enough that you feel the muscles in the shoulders twisting, turning. The wrists working, forward, back, forward, back, and if you want to, do anywhere from 15 to 20 on this exercise. It's a great exercise for the upper body. Make sure you don't let go of the dumbbells. Get a nice good grip, and a good 20 will do it. There you go. And we're back to the last one. Second shoulder. This is a really great exercise, one of my favorites. Works the traps, works the upper arm, and really, really works the back and the delt to the rear delts. Um, grab a medium weight, again. Step over here. I've got two 15s here. What you want to do is lean forward on one foot, put the weight on that foot. Take the two dumbbells, make a V, get a good grip, throw them back. Forward and back and forward into a V shape. And when you do this, make sure you keep your elbows locked. Don't bend the elbows. Keep your wrists locked. So the only thing you're doing, transferring the weight to the upper part of the shoulder, the rear delt, and believe it or not, you're going to work the upper lats too. Great for the triceps. It's like a modified kickback. So as long as you keep those elbows and wrists straight, you can concentrate the weight on the shoulders. Then do 15 of these. Two sets. And 15. Okay. And that's your second shoulder exercise. And we're back. I'd like to take this opportunity to, uh, uh, thanks for checking out our little half couple of hints at our gym here. Uh, we'll get back with you with a couple more helpful hints on some other videos later on. And uh, I'd like to incorporate some powerlifting exercise routines that my partner, who happens to be a big powerlifter, will be more than willing to show you. So uh, for now, I appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you later.